Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered why the strawberry syrup never comes out of the tube when you're making a shake? Let's look at weekly syrup calibration together on this month's installment of Equipment Corner. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Is this the place to eat? Since I don't cook, I'll just rock to the beat. Have you ever tried to get a chocolate shake and it comes out white? Did you know that a white shake is not vanilla? It should be a little yellow. If you have had this problem before, the odds are is that your syrup lines have not been cleaned or calibrated lately. So let's talk about the equipment needed to do this. You will need a set of shake brushes, a two and a half gallon bucket for sanitizer solution, a sanitizer spray bottle, an empty bucket, clean towels from the clean towel bucket and a place to put the dirty towels, a cold drink cup, some plastic wrap, some Taylor Lube HT, and the Taylor Seal install and removal tool. Now that we have all the equipment we need, let's go over the procedure for cleaning the syrup lines. Number one, fill a bucket with two and a half gallons of water and one packet of K5 sanitizer. Number two, Remove the syrup feed tube from the coupler and wipe the outside of the tubes and nozzles with a sanitized towel and place the tube into the sanitizer solution. Number three, place the empty bucket under the draw valve. Number four, remove the syrup line and select the flavor you are doing on the control panel. If you have the older machine, you can start the sanitizer cycle by hitting the flavor, then calibrate button then the auto button. If you have the newer machine, you can select the calibration button with the two bottles to display the menu. Now touch the snowflake or auto button to move to the syrup prime menu. Then touch the calibration button again to enter the syrup prime screen. You can now select the flavor you're doing to start the sanitizing cycle. Number six. Run the sanitizer through the lines until the sanitizer is clear. If the sanitizer is clear, pull the line out of the sanitizer bucket to drain the rest of the sanitizer from the line, then stop the sanitizer by pressing the calibration key on the old machine or the flavor button on the newer machine. Now this is where the old and the new machines differ quite a bit, so let's go over the older machine first. Number seven, once you finish sanitizing the line, Let's disassemble the syrup valve by pushing down and turning the round cap. Number eight, remove the plunger from the valve with the removal tool. Number nine, sanitize the plunger with a clean sanitized towel, keeping an eye out for any missing O-rings or damage to the plunger. Number 10, fill a small drink cup with sanitizer solution and clean the inside of the valve and syrup line with the white side of the double-sided brush. Go up the syrup line as far as you can go and bring it back out. Number 11. With a small amount of Taylor Lube HT, lubricate the O-rings on the plunger and reassemble the syrup valve. Number 12, reconnect the syrup tube to the bag and place it back on the shelf. Number 13, take the empty bucket and point the syrup valve you just cleaned in the bucket. We're now going to prime the line. Number 14, make sure your flavor is selected and push the calibration key to start the flow of syrup. Let the syrup flow until all the air is out and it streams out normally. Number 15, hit the calibration key to stop the flow of syrup and reinstall the valve into the shake machine freezer door. You can now repeat this for the remaining flavors. Just a reminder, that was only to clean the lines. Now to calibrate. 
Now you're gonna to need to get one ounce of shake mix in seven seconds, so you're gonna need a cup that shows one ounce measurements. If after seven seconds, you have more than one ounce of shake syrup, open the doors where the shake bags are and above are adjustment points for each flavor. Lower or raise the shake syrup as needed until you get one ounce in seven seconds. And that's all you need to do to calibrate the old machine. For the newer shake machine, it's a little easier. Once you are done running the sanitizer through the machine, inspect the bottom of the syrup valve. You will notice a rubber piece in the metal slot. That's called a duckbill valve. It shouldn't be outside of the valve. It shouldn't be broken or twisted. It should be straight. If it is split or broken, it needs to be replaced. This and peristaltic tube replacement will be recovered next month. When you're ready to prime the syrup, hit the calibration button, then use the snowflake to go to syrup prime and hit the flavor that you are doing. To calibrate this machine, you only need one ounce in five seconds. Hit the calibration button, but this time we're gonna use the snowflake button to go to syrup calibration. Then hit the calibration button to enter calibration mode. If you haven't disconnected it already, please disconnect the flavor you are doing from the freezer wall by removing the retaining clip and pulling the line out of the freezer wall. At that point, place the syrup line in the bricks cup and hit the flavor that you are calibrating and then you hit the flavor once again once you hit one ounce to stop it. And that's it. In order to verify the calibration, there is a manager menu that will be gone over in the next video. And that's all there is to sanitizing the shake lines and calibration. Remember, this needs to be done every week, and it's suggested to do this during your slowest part of the day, probably during breakfast early in the morning. So let's make sure this gets done every week, and thanks for watching. I'm loving it. Is this the place to eat?